Hey guys, hey, what's going on? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Today we're gonna be doing a Mediterranean style chicken fatty wrapped in bacon on the Rectech smoker today. Now this is a collaboration between Bad Beast Barbecue and Daddy Cooks. And all you guys who are subscribed to Daddy Cooks, uh, you know, Phil Riddick, he is uh, <clears throat> the man over there and uh, currently he is in parts unknown. But I talked to Phil and uh, we kind of collaborated on this cook, uh, got his ideas and his input for the stuffing that's going inside of the fatty. So without further ado, here's my partner, Phil Riddick from Daddy Cooks. Hey guys, it's me. Uh, my name's Phil uh, from Daddy Cooks and this is being sent to you from parts unknown. <laughs> All right guys. Um, as Daryl already mentioned, this is a collaboration video, all right? He had the idea of doing a uh, chicken fatty, and he hit me up, he conferred with me from way over here, and asked me for my input. What did I think would be good to uh, uh, stuff it with, to have it uh, uh, filled with? And I was thinking of a Mediterranean feel, okay? So my suggestions were uh, to go inside of his uh, chicken fatty would be uh, a mixture of goat cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, black olives, all right? That had a Mediterranean kick, and then he seasoned the chicken however he sees fit, rolls it up, covers it in bacon or whatever else he does, guys. But that's my input. Um, I'm excited to see how this turns out. Thank you so much, Daryl, for including me in on this uh, collaboration video. Uh, from way over here to way over there, y'all. I really appreciate uh, everything that uh, uh, you guys have said as far as missing me on my channel. And once again, Daryl, thanks a lot for including me on yours. All right, guys, I'm Phil. I'll see you when I see you. So as you heard Phil say, the stuffing for the chicken fatty is going to be uh, black olives, sun-dried tomatoes, and goat cheese. So let's go ahead and get the short prep work together and then we'll go ahead and get it on the smoker and we'll see what we come up with. Don't go nowhere. So the ingredients that we're going to be using today is uh, we got some crumbled goat cheese. We have a, a bottle of California sun-dried tomatoes. We have a small can of California black chopped olives. We're going with the chopped olives so it can spread all through the, the fatty. We are going to be wrapping our chicken fatty in some Hormel Black Label brown sugar thick bacon. And in here we have two pounds of chicken. I have chicken breast in here and I have chicken thighs in here so that the mix it all together so that the thighs will provide some fat content for the chicken breast so it won't be so dried out, okay? Now, this chicken has been marinating for about an hour in a Mediterranean spice blend that we found uh, on the internet, and so we tried this. So in this bottle, we have the following in ingredients. We got uh, cardamom and cumin and uh, a whole bunch of different other blends in here, and I'll put the recipe for this and the link uh, so that you might want to make your own Mediterranean spice blend. But this has been marinating uh, on the chicken for the last hour, so let's go ahead and get this ground up and we'll get our fatty together and we'll get it out there on the smoker. So don't go nowhere.
Okay, guys, that was the prep work. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and let the flavors kind of marinate together while we get the smoker ready. So hang around. I'll show you us putting it on the smoker as soon as we get it ready, and then we'll cook it at 250, 275 degrees until the temperature gets to about 165 for the chicken and the bacon get nice and crispy. So stick around. The final product we got the fatty off of the smoker now let's just to recap we ground up our own chicken we had about two pounds of uh, thighs and breast okay I added some thighs to the breast meat in order to give it a little moisture to make sure that the chicken didn't dry out during the cooking process uh, I used Phil's suggestions and we stuffed it with goat cheese we stuffed it with uh, sun-dried tomatoes and black olives okay and <clears throat> we cooked it on the Rectech smoker up to temp and we took it off when it hit 170 degrees okay uh, once it came off I let it rest for a little while glazed with a little uh, sweet baby raised barbecue sauce and so now we're about to get into it and see exactly what it tastes like so let's get this done okay so we're gonna go ahead and cut about right here All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, you can see the sun-dried tomatoes, the cheese, nice and melty, the black olives and things. So let's go ahead and give this a taste test. All right, so let's take the piece that we just had. I'm gonna cut this right down the middle so I can get to the filling. So that looks fantastic. All right, let's cut us a small piece. All right, Phil, let's see what this tastes like. It smells fantastic. I love the smell of the ingredients. Mm. Oh yeah, Phil. This came out fantastic. The goat cheese, which I've never had before, has a fantastic flavor to it. The black olives gives it a little tang. The sun-dried tomatoes taste fabulous. The chicken is moist. And the Mediterranean seasoning that I use throughout the process, plus the sweetness of the sweet baby rays, all work well together. So, hey. This was a fantastic cook, great collaboration, Phil. I appreciate you uh, participating in this. We'll have to do a lot more in the future. So, well, hey, that's all we have time for tonight. If you want a fantastic Mediterranean chicken fatty, check out this recipe here. That's all we have time for tonight. Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. See you around the smoker. And hey, Phil, stay safe and hurry home. Peace.